we're talking about final account of a sole trader. Now, uh, I would like to explain this to you before you start doing your workings. The first thing that should come to your mind is for you to know that you start from the additional information. And note that anything that appears in the additional information appears twice in your account. I repeat, appears twice in your account. So let's start. Say we're giving this additional information. Say the first one is stock as at 31st December 2019. Just know that the first one there is your closing stock. Do you understand? Because anything that appears in the additional information are closing information. Do you understand? So let me just brush through this. Let's say we have a directly, directly. The D stands for debit, the A stands for assets, E expenses, C credit, L liability, I income, P provisions. So meaning debit all assets and expenses, credit all liabilities, income and provisions. Okay, so in that scenario, we can now say, let's say if we are given expenses, how do we treat closing expenses? Expenses. Now, we have the chain. So the first one, we always have it owings. You will be giving owings or you are giving prepaid. You are giving owings on prepaid. Now note that anything that appears in the additional information refers to as closing information. Closing information. Closing information. Now in this case, let's say the expenses we are talking about is rent. So meaning that if you are talking about closing owings for rent, you have to what, add them. Or you have, if you are talking about prepaid of rent in the additional information, you have to what, subtract. Now the reason why we add this and subtract is because our accounting period is for 12 months. And if your accounting period is for 12 months, it means anything we are going to do must be based within that range of 12 months. So you are giving, say for example, we are giving rent to the trial balance. The rent given to you the trial balance is also amount. And at the same time, the additional information you are giving some amount of rent owings. So meaning that the one in the additional information which is owing, you have to add them to it. Because if you are owing, Within that range of 12 months, it means the one in the trial balance is not up to 12 months. Do you understand that? So you have to add up the one given to you in the additional information. Then if you are not talking about the rent prepared, the rent prepared given to you in the additional information is signifying to you that the rent given to you in the trial balance, you've paid more than the 12 months. So meaning that the prepared being attached in the additional information, you have to subtract because the accounting period is for 12 months and you have paid more than 12 months. Do you understand? So you have to subtract that. So now let's just say you've understood that. Then let's go to our additional information and start the workings properly. Now in this case now, saying we are giving a... The first thing, just note, the first working here is what? Stock. So we, we are those stock as at 31st December 2019. Just come out and write it as closing stock. Closing stock, which is which amount to... Okay, let's say which amount to 3,200. So we have uh, 3,200 there. That's the first thing. Then you go to the second one. Just very simple. So the next one is up. We have rent accrued. I mean, now just say you are having rent accrued here. Just call rent. Rent account. Now the rent account, you know that the one given to you in the trial balance is 1,500 naira. 1,500 naira. Now, and I said it that any rent that is being what? Being an outstanding rent, giving to you the additional information. What you need to do is what? You need to what? Add it to it. Meaning that the rent given to national product is approved. Is not is telling you that we are still owing rent. So that means you have to add the one given to national information, which is three hundred, which makes the rent worth one thousand eight hundred. Meaning that this one thousand eight hundred is being going to your profit or loss account, profit or loss account under the uh, expenses side. Whereas this three hundred naira given to you as a rent approved is going to your balance sheet, your balance sheet under. It's going to your balance sheet under the liability side because it is what? Owing. It is owing. Alright, now we are done with that. This is going to profit or loss account. This is going to balance sheet, the liability side. Then you have what? The Roman figure 3. We are giving that electricity prepaid. Now, prepaid means you paid more than electricity. Instead of you to pay for, let's say for example, instead of you to pay for 12 months, you paid for 15 months. So, meaning that the electricity given to us here in the trial balance, electricity. Give it to us in the trial balance. It's 8,000 naira. Meaning this 8,000 naira is what you've paid more than 12 months. So we are now told that the prepaid of electricity is 1,000 naira. So what you need to do is just subtract 1,000 naira from it. After subtracting, you have got 7,000 naira. So meaning that this 7,000 naira is what? The one that will go to profit or loss account. Profit or loss account. 
Where has this 1000 there? Is going to your balance sheet under what the asset side, the current assets. The current assets. Don't forget, I said any account that appears, any information that appears here appears twice. So, note the 300 naira has affected what the profit or loss account has affected it's going to profit or loss, and this 300 naira is what going to balance sheet. Likewise, here 1000 naira has affected one going to your profit or loss, and at the same time, the 1000 naira is going to what balance sheet. All right, so the next one we need to do here, we have not we have to go for. So if we go for here, we have a we have a bad debt of 1,500 naira is to be written off. Now don't forget, bad debt is to be written off, meaning that you have to write off that bad debt for more de your debtors. Bad debt will affect your debtors account. Say for example, Mr. Janle Koko owes you 1,500 naira. For example, now Mr. A now owes you another 1,500 naira. The total debtors is what 3,000. Now if Mr. Janle Koko is there. How do you want to get your money back? Now, meaning that you can't get those money back, then you want to record it about bad debt. So, meaning that you have to write it off, you have to subtract it from your real debtor's account, meaning that you cannot work for that account, that amount anymore. So, meaning that you just open your debtor's account. Debtor's account. Now, the debtor's account, you have in the real debtor is of 25,000 naira. And you have to go to the act of the debtors. We have one debt that we have to write off because we can't get that money anymore. So you subtract 1,5 from it. So you subtract 1,5. So you subtract 1,5, you have 23,500 naira. So this 23,500 naira will now be the amount, the new amount of your what? Of your debt. Do you understand? So this one is not the one going to your balance sheet. This is not the one going to your balance sheet. And at the same time, don't forget that still look at your child balance. If there is bad debt there, meaning that the bad debt you have before is 200 naira, so just come here and say bad debt. Bad debt, 200 naira. Now the bad debt we have before is 200 naira, meaning that we have a new bad debt which we subtracted from what from the debtors. We have a new bad debt which is on one five. So you just come here to add it 1,500 plus 200. So you're having 1,700 naira. So this 1,700 naira is going to what profit or loss account. So if you look at it now, the one five bad debt has affected the one your debtors going to a balance sheet, and at the same time it has affected your bad debt going to a profit or loss account. So you are done with that. Then we'll go to the next one. Roman figure 5. We have interest on loan. 10% interest on loan. We have 10% interest on loan. Now, don't forget, just go to your loan. How much is our loan there? The loan is of 150,000. So just say 10%, 10 over 100 times 150,000. Times 150,000. So you have, you have 15,000. So meaning that the interest on loan is got 15. So this 15,000 here will go straight to your profit or loss account and at the same time your balance sheet. If it goes to the liability side of the balance sheet, the liability side of the balance sheet, whereas if you go to the expenses side of the profit or loss account. So let's the depreciation part in Roman figure 6. You have depreciation of 10% of all assets. Now if you look at your travel balance, just write down the assets you have in your travel balance. You have in a furniture, you have a furniture. We have the equipment, equipment, and we have the building, buildings. And we are told that 10%, it is 10% of all assets. So let's say the first one, which is furniture. The cost of furniture is 10,000 here. 10,000 here. So meaning that multiplied by what? By 10%. So we multiply this by 10%, they are having 1,000 here. We have a decision on that. So here we have 9,000. So multiply by 10 percent. So you are having a now hundred naira. Then you are having fifteen thousand. Multiply by 10 percent. You have one thousand five hundred naira. Now this directly just goes to your profit or loss account. Profit or loss account. Profit or loss account under expenses because they are depreciation. We categorize them as expenses. But now the one that will not transfer to your uh, balance sheet. Let's say we are talking about the furniture part. Now let's come to the furniture part. Furniture. Now furniture. The furniture part. Because the first thing you need to do, you need to know the cost. You subtract what? The depreciation to get your net book value. That is, the, this net book value is the one going to the balance sheet directly. So now in this case now, you know the cost of furniture is 10,000 naira. Then you want for depreciation is 1,000 naira. So we need to subtract this, you have what? 9,000 naira. So this 9,000 is one going to balance sheet. You do the same thing for equipment. 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 So 
So you have a uh, 15,000 minus, sorry, equipment is 9,000 here. 9,000 minus 900. So you have 8,100 here. So we're still going to your balance sheet. Then the last one, which is building. Buildings. Really, this is 15,000 minus 1,005. So we have been uh, 13,500. So this is going to our balance sheet now. All these are additional information. I know something that the first thing that you need to do is after all these workings, all what appears in your workings that you say this one is going to profit or loss, this one is going to balance sheet. Since we are going to start our calculation from trading profit or loss account, just know that when you get to the profit or loss account, everything that appears under that you say you are transferring to profit or loss account, put them under your profit account first to so avoid any what mistakes. Do you understand? And after that, you transfer the one that is going to balance sheet, you transfer them there. Alright, now in this case now, we go straight to our trading profit or loss account. Alright, now in this case now, let's now see we are not going to the question going on because in the question we now ask you, find the trading profit or loss account of so so person and at the same time find the balance sheet. So now in this case now, the trading profit or loss account, just a normal step, the first thing that appears is your opening stock, the stock you are bringing from last year. The stock that you, you sold that is remaining, you are bringing it to this year as your opening stock. Then any new purchases, anything you are buying to add up to that stock. Because anything you are buying, let's say for example you are selling bread. You, the bread that you made last year is 500. Now you need to what? To buy maybe, you need to buy maybe like 100 to make it 600. That new 100 that you are buying is what? Is the purchases. You add it to the one you are bringing in as opening stock. So it makes it what? Increase. Do you understand? And the carriage in one, the carriage in one is just the amount you incur. From transporting the goods from where you are buying it to where you eventually sell the products. So that carriage with that amount, you have to add it to your purchases to know the actual amount you are going to sell that particular product. Then at the same time, now let's return also. The return also you have to let's let's say for example, you purchase 100 stock out of the 100, 50 out of the 100 is not good again. So you return it. While you are returning it, it will reduce your, your stock. Do you understand? That's the reason why we always say let's return outward. Then after lesson we turn out, what you are going to have will be the cost of goods available for sales. This will now be the cost of the goods you have that are available for sales. Then you less the closing stock. After you finish all your market for that year, then the remaining stock is subtracted from all this. After subtracting it, then you have what? Cost of goods sold. Do you understand? Then how to now get our gross profit? You come to the credit side sales, all your sales for that year, you have it, you less the third new world. With only what you sell goods to someone and the person now return want some of the goods back to you as a seller that is not good, so you bless it for the sales, then you have a figure, then the figure here you subtract it from your what for your cost of goods sold, so you get your gross profit. Then after you get your gross profit, just bring it down, you have gross profit for come and brought down, then you have it here. Then after having it here, maybe with the trial balance you'll be giving this can receive. This can receive appear here. Why this can't allow? They appear at the expenses side. This can't allow, this can't receive. Then we have provisions, decrease. If there is decrease in your provisions, same if for example you, you set aside provisions out of your profits, then at the end of the day, instead of you to now incur that provision, because every year you have to be setting aside provision, you now set aside another provision, meaning that it will it will decrease. So meaning that this one will to be here. Then any provision on buy debt that increase will fall at the debit side. Alright. Then the next thing now, after doing that, just come straight, come straight to what? To all the calculation you've done. Now we did calculation on rent. The calculation on rent we did. We have rent accrued. I mean, we added to the rent in the trial balance. Then we said, okay, one eight. So here you just will transfer one thousand eight. There. So rates we do not make any expense. Any calculation on rate. You write the actual figure for rate. This can't be like write the actual figure. Provision for buy them track. Then electricity. We have electricity where we have what the prepaid. So the prepaid one is what. 7,000 after subtracting the pay from it, so you have 7,000 for electricity. Then the budget after doing your calculation, the actual budget to now have is 1,700. You add it up to this place. Then the interest for loan, after doing the interest for loan, you have a, uh, you have a 1,500 here. So you have 1,500. You have 15,000. You have 15,000. Then after doing all this, then you subtract. You add all this up. Subtract it from the credit side. Any figure you have, you will have your net profit. Do you understand? Then you go to your balance sheet. You have your capital, the capital you have figure. Then you add the net profit which you are bringing from your profit or loss account. After adding your net profit, drawings. You subtract drawings. You can do 
drew part of your maybe you are selling bread you will drew part of those bread you are selling for personal consumption you subtract it you subtract the drawings and after subtracting you get the figure then your loan you add your loan then you have the current liability then you have the creditors creditors they are owing your creditors so they are liability to your business rent accrued appears electricity owing if there is any it appears interest on loan appears and you add up after adding up you have a figure then the asset side now you have buildings furniture and what equipment now don't forget that i said that here it is after you subtracted your depreciation from the actual cost that you transfer the figure here all the figures that will appear will just be your net book value after, and you know net book value is when you subtract depreciation from what from the cost of each asset then you have the figures here you add it together then the current assets you have your debtors the debtors after you subtracted the, the bad debt that is to be written off. After you subtracted that, you have your debt to here, you have figure. Then the catch at bank, cash in hand, rent to pay. But in this case, I don't think we have rent to pay in our workings. We have electricity to pay. Electricity to pay, which is going to be an asset to us. Do you understand? When you add everything up here, add everything up, they must all be, they must be equal. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video and at the same time click the subscribe button. Thank you. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Click subscribe, like, share, and comment. Bye bye.